we are producing a discussion paper which, uh, which will be posted on our website very soon. So Mr. Pollack, wait a few more days and then you will enjoy our conclusions. But our conclusions are along the line of what I've been saying since a long time. Availability causes use. You promised, or at least you announced, a discussion paper on this subject at the IRA conference in Barcelona in May 2008, and I've been searching for it, uh, well, several times at the website, but I could not find it. Uh, instead of this, you continue to make speeches, uh, to make reference to this subject, and you, you have written about it in your blog, but I must say that that is very unsatisfactory and, and also incorrect in a number of, uh, of uh, points. So my question really is, where is this discussion paper? We have uh, periodically produced uh, discussion papers in a number of countries. We worked on a paper on uh, the Netherlands. We worked on a paper in uh, Australia. We worked on a paper in, in uh, about Sweden. In some cases, uh, what we exercise was welcome and was published, the Swedish paper. In other cases, it was eventually quashed and it remained an internal document never published. Just not to induce the audience to believe that we are running away from what's just as tough as they may be, I don't fear them. I invite you all to look, and some of you were yesterday present, or present yesterday, to look at the recording of yesterday elaborate 12 minutes answer to this question. It is not really correct to claim that I did not answer the question. I put a blog on the 23rd of June when the first time the question was raised. This is following a study tour to Amsterdam. Please look at it and you will find the answer. There were no sources, there were no references where he gets his data. The cannabis prevalence rates are the same as in the European Union. They are uh, much higher than worldwide, much higher than worldwide. I think that the numbers I could give them to you, they are all listed here. The numbers you have quoted are not correct. And the most important finding about the Netherlands is that at the end of the day, the Dutch do not have a high prevalence of cannabis use. When you do a sort of European league table, they're right in the middle. Um, the argument that opening up something like the coffee shops leads to um, sort of either much wider use and much more extended use. The second one is really quite interesting. Neither of those is true. I would have thought that having the drug available in a, in a benign setting like a uh, coffee shop would lead more 30-year-olds to be using as compared to um, the other regime, and there's no evidence, uh, evidence for that. We have countrywide numbers, and then we have Amsterdam, for example, namely the, the numbers of prevalence rates in the cities where the coffee shops are available. The numbers in Amsterdam, prevalence, uh, on a, uh, let us say the past month, which is the most reliable chronological timetable one could use, are uh, much, much higher, 2, 2.6, almost three times greater than the rest of the country. So Amsterdam is off the chart, which is not the case in the big cities, uh, where you could have Vienna if you wish, or London if you wish, or Washington, where you are the same statistics.
Amsterdam is not really a big city, but it's a very cosmopolitan city. We have two universities, we have many artists, we have tourists from all over the world. So it's not strange that the use of drugs is higher there than in the, in the countryside. There is one serious research about uh, cannabis use in Amsterdam. That is the comparison of Amsterdam and, and San Francisco by Craig Reinerman and Peter Cohen. And there it is shown that the use in Amsterdam is lower than in San Francisco, which is a very similar city, same size, uh, also intellectual and uh, a harbor city. So there is a, that's, those are two cities that you can compare, and there Amsterdam comes out much lower. The Dutch government is spending a lot of money, the highest in percentage in Europe, 0.7%, and it's putting a lot of that money in education, it's putting a lot of that money in uh, health, it's putting a lot of that money in law enforcement and so forth. It's true, a lot of money is spent on prevention, but other countries do that also. We are producing a discussion paper which, uh, which will be posted on our website very soon. In other cases, it was eventually quashed and it remained an internal document never published. He announced a discussion paper on it, and that is what we need, a written report with sources and references, and there. Uh, that is the only way to make a serious discussion possible.